Good afternoon, folks. Hi, Phil McPhail here with the United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. And I'm really excited to bring you up in the mountains of northern Penobscot County today to the town of Mount Chase. And I'm off on the Ackley Pond Road, and I've got two properties to show you in here today. One 58-acre lot behind you and a 71-acre lot behind me. It's going to be divided by the Ackley Pond Road. We're going to check out the 71-acre lot first. It's got a nice little creek that runs down through the mountains here crosses this little trail behind us. And the beauty of this, folks, is if you like to ride, if you're, a, if you're an outdoor enthusiast that likes power sports from ATVs to snowmobiles, this is your dream property. If you don't like them, well, you could still use this property. They're not gonna bother you. They're gonna be on the roads, but there's trails here. There's ITS 81 through here and uh, trail 611 for the, for the ATVs. Really interesting property. You gotta come check it out. Let's go check the 71 acre lot out first. Coming in off the Ackley Pond Road, and this is a side trail off of that. These are rights of way through the property to get to other landowners' properties, which you have a right of way for almost two miles to get in here to these, this property. The 71 acre lot, and has this beautiful little, little creek running through it. This creek doesn't show on any maps, but I've been here many times over the years and I've always seen water in it. So it's kind of running down through the hills. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some little waterfalls, plunging, plunge pools coming down through the woods. This 71 acre piece has a lot of decent timber on it. Um, there's some hard maple in here. Uh, you got white spruce, red spruce. You got a little bit of everything. There's some white birches in here, red maples yellow birch, pretty nice lot. I'll walk this trail up here a ways. Now yeah, we're here in late November. Tomorrow is the first day of December. And you can see we've got a, we got three or four inches of snow on the ground up here. We're up near Mount Katahdin here in Mount Chase. And this area does get a nice amount of snow. And I want you to see off the side here, this 71 acres, this has all been timberland for probably 150 years. It's been timber harvested in the past, but there's a lot of big, beautiful hardwood on this property. Looks really good. You can see it on both sides of the road here. This little bit of land on the right side of this trail coming in on the 71 acres. Most of the land is going to be on the left-hand side. And speaking of this road, we got about 3,900 feet of frontage on these two roads that run along. One forms the boundary, which is the Ackley Pond Road. And this side trail here does split through the property on the, on the western side. As we continue our hike up this road, take a look at the property. Let's talk about the location here, folks. We're in the town of Mount Chase, Maine, and that's in northern Penobscot County, like I said earlier. Population in this town, how oh, it hovers right around 190 people. Mount Chase is, uh, has Shin Pond Village, which you can come up here. There's a little store up here, a place to get a little bit of gas. Nice little town. Um, lower and upper Shin Ponds are here in town. The nearest service town is gonna be Patton. That's about 11 miles away from this property. The town of Holton, large town, is 41 miles north of here. About a 45 minute drive. City of Bangor, about 100 miles. Bangor's got a commercial airport. You can fly in there if you come to Maine. Boston has about 335 miles. That's about a five hour ride from here, maybe a little more. So it's easy to get to. The last two miles on the private road, but over the, you go mostly I-95, a little bit of Route 11. And, uh, the Mount Chase Road, you know, a little bit of the access road is, uh, but almost all of it's good paved road. We're over here on the uh, western side of the 71 acres, and you can see there's a pretty wide skid trail. So last logging that was done here was quite a while ago, but they put some wide trails in, but they left some really big buffers. They didn't take a lot of the mature timber in between. So there's still some standing mature timber on this property. If you are looking for a timber investment might be a good one for that. The uh, elevations here on this side on the 71 acre piece 
run from about 810 feet to 1,000 feet above sea level. Nice rolling piece of land, some pretty high views. And I can see, I can see mountains in every direction. If you were to build a road up onto the height of this land, you could have some spectacular panoramic views. We'll have Mount Chase behind us, Wadsworth Mountain, Mount Katahdin's off to the west a little bit, um, Traveler Mountain. There's a lot of, a lot of mountains in this area, and what a place to snowmobile. And if you've never snow, if you're a snowmobiler and you've never snowmobiled in the Mount Chase area, you owe it to yourself to get up here. The, the trails are not as busy as they are in other places, typically, and the scenery here, I think it rivals any place in the state of Maine. Now we're off on into the woods here on the 71 acres and see some beach in here, some nice yellow birch right here, beauties. Very kind of an uneven age growth going on here. We got a lot of young stuff coming up under this older growth. Apologize folks, self-filming this one today, not what I usually do. And I've got some sort of virus that I don't want to give to anybody else at the moment. So we're gonna walk down through here. Wow, spectacular. There's some of the big hardwood in here. That's a great big yellow birch. It's a beautiful piece of land. Talk about the elevations already. I said there was a nice roll in 810 to 1,000 feet above sea level. According to the NRCS soil mapping, 85% of the soil here is a Thorndike, Channery, and Sandy silt loams, which are very good for growing trees. They can also grow crops, you name it. Wow. You can't appreciate this, you gotta be here. The elevation drop, and I'm only about halfway up to the height of the property. Yeah, if you came in here, made yourself a four or five acre clearing up on this hilltop, yeah, it's, it's pretty. As we continue our walk through here, let's talk about what else you can do in the Shin Pond area. We're about two and a half miles from upper and lower Shin Pond. Some pretty good fishing in both of those lakes. Real close by, keep your boat here and be on those in a matter of minutes. We're three miles from Shin Pond Village, a nice restaurant and a bar and a store, country store. Some rental cabins there if you got family coming to visit. Overflow, they got pretty good space there. Beautiful new restaurant and store. We're only 18 miles from the north entrance of Baxter State Park, which for those who don't know, is the largest park in the state of Maine. Beautiful area, lots of ponds and lakes and hiking trails. Mount Katahdin, Maine's highest peak. Maine's terminus, one end of the terminus of the Appalachian Trail. Beautiful park. Uh, what else we got nearby? Well, we, like I said earlier, we're on one of the best ATV and snow, snowmobile trails in northern Maine, which is really nice. We're only eight and a half miles from the Savoy River. That's a nice fishing river, great canoe trip river. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should, if, you're, if you like paddling. The east branch of the Penobscot River, 17 miles from here. That's about a 15, 20 minute ride. And it, it's it's amazing river. It comes out of Lake, Grand Lake Matagammon. There's a dam there, some nice fishing for brook trout. Wild brook trout, landlocked salmon, Grand Pitch. What a beautiful spot. Big drop. I think the Atlantic salmon probably can't even make that climb. Maybe they can. If you guys know that for sure, put it in the comments below. Anybody that's familiar with Grand Pitch. All right, well, we're gonna walk back down and I'll wrap this up. Tell you what the price on this property is and all the other information. Well, I want to thank you for coming along on this tour of the 71 acres here in Ackley Pond Road in the town of Mount Chase. 
before we forget uh, to ask you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's a bell down below. Hit that and turn on all notifications. Let's talk about the terms of this property. The price of this lot is $106,500, 71 plus or minus acres. We've got about 3,900 plus or minus feet of frontage on both Ackley Pond Road and this side road that runs through the property. We've got the beautiful little mountain creek running through it. If you got any other questions, give me a call. Oh, by the way, if you got family in this, uh, you could buy this together and in five years you could split this lot again. So keep that in mind. Makes it a little more affordable if you got some friends or relatives that like to join in in the purchase. What a great place. Give me a call, 800-286-6164. Ask for Phil. Come on up. We'll take a look at it. If you wait too much longer, probably going to be on a snowmobile, but that's okay. Okay, now we're over on the other side of the road here uh, from the 71-acre parcel. This is a 58-acre site, and I know what it says behind me. Uh, welcome to Patton. Well, we're not in Patton. Patton uh, Snowmobile Club takes care of the trails out here. They do a wonderful job in the winter. Um, but we're in the sound of mount chases uh, like we were earlier. So let's go take a look at this 58 acre lot. It's got some great elevations, also has a lot of interior road and road frontage for access and a, dump, a bunch of different places you might be able to build. So let's go jump on this piece. All right, guys, we're driving up on Ackley Pond Road right now and the 58 acre lot is on our left. And Ackley Pond is gonna branch off to our right right here. And this road here is going to go through the 58 acre lot, giving us access to a great deal of the interior of the property. This piece of property has got some amazing elevations. Now we're climbing uphill as we go. You can see we get a little bit of a gravel pit over here on the side of the road, which is pretty handy if you want to do some work. Uh, this is a Thorndike gravelly and, and sandy soil. you probably find some material in that pit to help you out if you want to build if you want to build a road or a driveway off this road. Oh, we're crossing the boundary right here by that gravel pit that I mentioned earlier and that's right here. And it was used for some of the road construction. May still, still be some material on that side hill. I'm sure there is. And this side road is called Moose Brook Road. So it does have a name. It kind of runs along the western quarter of this lot. And right now we're kind of heading um, kind of southeasterly. South, southeast, southwest, back and forth. And as you can see, looking off the road on this property, I got some nice, beautiful hardwood up there on that ridge. There's there's uh, a lot of yellow birch in there, some sugar maples, some red maples, some beech, a little bit of everything. Spruce scattered here and there. Primarily, this is a hardwood lot. And there's a lot of young trees coming in under the older ones, which is really good. It's a pretty well stocked lot. There's a lot of deer sign in here and moose. I've seen tracks everywhere I've been so far. Gorgeous area. If you're interested in this property, folks, call me quick. In another week, we'll probably need a snowmobile to get in here. This is the ITS 81 comes through the property, so it's a very well groomed snowmobile trail. But right now, I'm kind of plowing through snow with the pickup truck. We've only got about six, five to six inches of snow on the ground. And the 58 acres is all on the left hand side. Over here on the east side of the property now. And one of the nice things about this lot is that the boundary line is actually marked. And the paint's pretty easy to find. It was done about five years ago. This was blazed. You'd be advised if you buy it to come in and freshen it up every once in a while. But that line's going right up this hill. And you can see on this side, we got a lot of yellow birch. We've got some ash over here, some beech, maples, a little bit of everything. Like I said, it's got some great elevations. You can see one of the mountains over towards Baxter Street Park off in the distance. Elevations on this lot run from about 810 to 1120 feet above sea level. Soils here are also good. As I said, 
We had that Thorndike soil. About 85% of this lot is supposed to be Thorndike, according to NRCS Web Soil Survey. And that means you're going to have some pretty good growing trees. And the slopes on this property would be really hard to farm. I wouldn't recommend it. It is rocky ground, um, but the soils are very well drained and pretty fertile. So they do grow trees pretty rapidly. This property has about 3,300 feet of frontage along this road. And like I meant to mention earlier, um, within five years, after five years, you could divide this again. So if you got friends, family, or you just want to sell off a piece of property, you could do that in five years. I want to thank you folks for taking the tour with me today of this 58 acre lot here in Mount Chase off of Ackley Pond Road. Let's wrap up the video. First of all, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below and put on all notifications. This is a 58 acre site, Mount Chase. Price on this property is $87,000. It's got about 3,300 feet of road frontage on two different roads. We got some elevations here that make for some fantastic views. One of the best ATV and snow, snowmobile trail systems in the state right here in Mount Chase. Hey, thanks for taking the tour of these two properties here in Mount Chase with me today. Two beautiful pieces of property. Um, hey, you could buy it all. 130 plus or minus acres of land on both sides of the road. You have thousands of feet of frontage. You'd have a brook. Everything you could all you could ever want in one property. It is off grid, so you're gonna have to supply your own power. But most of us out there today know that can be done pretty easily. The owner might even consider financing for you with a decent down payment. So give me a call at 800-286-6164. Ask for Phil, I'll bring you up here and show you these properties.